In today's episode, let's discuss about the online incense making course at FFDC. Namaste everyone and welcome to Om Incense Show with DJ, a show that helps you increase your incense caution. So if you are an incense enthusiast, consider subscribing. So today I'm going to discuss this course that I did from FFDC. It's FFDC stands for Fragrance and Flavor Development Corporation of India. This is situated in Kannauj, which is in UP. It is known as the Ithar city or the Athar city. It is one of the oldest cities where Athar is made. And even though people have modernized the whole process, there are very many firms which still produce it the traditional way, the you know, the Dagan Bhapka way where they have huge copper utensils and they have fresh flowers coming in them and you know the whole distillation process goes on and the end product of it is collected in water bags in sorry in bags made of camel skin and which has a layer of sandalwood oil to it and then the essential oil of various flowers are put inside it and then you know the water evaporates and the pure oil is left behind this is the traditional method and this is what many people still practice there. So that is Kannauj. Kannauj is very famous world over. We have very, very beautiful fragrances there. So we have rose, jasmine, mitti. Mitti is the fragrance of fresh, you know, it's the smell of uh, scorched earth. You know, the first rain that falls on scorched earth, that is the kind of fragrance that you get in mitti. So those are the things that's produced in, produced in Kannauj. And this is one of the central agencies of the government of India. They do very many stuff related to fragrance and flavor creation. Um, they have given quite a lot to the flavor industry and the fragrance industry also. They have been managing their affairs very well. They have only been, you know, uh, they have not been taking any financial assistance for the running for the operational costs of the uh, corporation. They've been doing it through the courses and through the various materials and services that they provide to the industry and to individuals. And uh, it is quite an old uh, corporation. It has had a good standing in the industry and uh, they also organize something called Sugandhi Mela, which is during winters in Delhi, in the Pitampura Delhi Heart, in collaboration with Delhi Tourism. And that is quite a good thing, you know, if you are in Delhi, NCR, somewhere around December to February, you might just want to keep a tab on this. And they have not been doing it for quite some time because of the Corona thing. But otherwise, if you are there and if you get to know about Sugandhi Mela, please do take out some time to go and visit it. You would really enjoy it. So that was about FFDC. FFDC keeps conducting quite a few courses, both online and offline for, you know, for the incense industry, for the fragrance and flavor industry. And uh, they have courses on perfumery, aromatherapy and aromatic crops and they give uh, trainings to farmers and other people who want to get into this industry and they have been doing it for quite some time they have been doing it quite well so but like every other thing the online courses will not give you a, a really you know hands-on experience a practical experience of the course that you want to do so unless and until you are in a situation where you really can't travel to Kannauj for the offline course so the views that are here in this episode are my personal opinion of the course. You might agree with it and you might not agree with it, but these are what I thought about the course. It is called an online training course in Agarbatti, Dhubbatti, Havan Samagri and Perfumery. This is a three day course. I'm talking about the online one. This is a three day course. So I did it between 14th, 15th and 16th. It started at 11 and it was till 3.30 per day and with a lunch break of around 45 minutes at around 1.30. So that was the duration. Usually they hold these courses probably every month or every other month or so, these online ones. And uh, I paid 3K for it, 3000 rupees for it. The same course was charged 2500 sometime last year. So they've been steadily increasing the price. That's there. The number of participants is 40 in all of the online courses, the Agarbatti ones. 
and the duration is the same it's three days 11 to 3 30 so that's the duration they do have offline courses as well and if you're looking to enter the industry as such and get some hands-on experience along with the training as in if you need some practical training then i would request you to keep away from this online one and just do the offline one and i guess the offline ones they sometimes do arrange uh, you know uh, entrepreneurship programs where you can learn this uh, you know uh, learn the tricks and techniques of this industry You'll make to uh, you'll be made to hand roll incenses, dhoop and stuff. So that is the one thing. If you want to enter the industry, then I request you do the offline one. Just wait for it. Whenever it comes, do the offline one only because then you are only wasting your money and time in doing the online one. And uh, so that is that. It was a three days course, and they gave us all the PPTs that they had presented to us. They gave us two booklets. They gave us two booklets which talks about the aromatic crops and how to make fragrances out of it and uh, you know a little bit of the incense uh, manufacturing the different kinds of incenses that's what they gave us. So let me tell you what the course is all about. So you'll find this course you just go to FFDC online you know FFDC you google FFDC and you will get to that page and you can see the training calendar and you'll be able to see all the courses that are there. They also have a separate course on essential oil perfumery and aromatherapy um, in which they teach you in detail about the perfumery aspect of it. But in this course, they said that they'll be teaching perfumery, but they did not teach anything as in in the form of lectures. Yes, the booklets that they've given us do have a few, you know, a few things about the perfumery in the incense, but in the lecture part, they did not cover it at all. So let me tell you what is the main component you know the, when you go and see the ffdc training list the things that they have enlisted there to be taught in the course is as follows global scenario and market potential of agarbatti and dhubbatti industries source and production of fragrant raw materials for agarbatti dhubbatti and havan samagri familiarization with raw materials of agarbatti dhubbatti havan samagri and perfumery industry Manufacturing of hand rolled agarbatti, manufacturing of coated agarbatti, manufacturing of masala agarbatti, manufacturing of floral waste agarbatti, manufacturing of dhup, manufacturing of havan samagri, incorporation of fragrance in dhup, havan samagri, hand rolled and coated agarbatti, packaging and marketing of agarbatti, dhup batti, and havan samagri. So, these are the things that were supposed to be taught in the class and uh, we were to apply through a form that is there available online you need to give your passport size photograph you need to give your pan card and aadhaar card in it so before you start applying for that uh, form you must have all of these things handy with you the e-copies so that was supposed to be taught in the class in the course and uh, we were taught hand roll agarbatti formula we were taught coated agarbatti formula we were taught about the we were taught about the dhoop formula only they did not show us how to make the dhoop but they gave us a formula the industry formula and which confirmed that dhoop has rubber in it and they gave us the formula for masala agarbatti so in the class they showed us practically how to you know uh, mr negi was making the agarbatti he showed us exactly how to you know from the formula how we derive a recipe and how we weigh the ingredients and then we make the dough and then we hand roll the incense that's what they showed they also showed us how to make incense cones they gave us the formula for masala agarbatti and they showed us how to make coated agarbatti they showed us how to dip the incense in the perfume solution and they also showed us uh, you know how to the various techniques of uh, applying perfume to an incense stick so to a blank how do you apply perfumes to a blank that's what they showed but most people you know they did answer quite a few questions all the questions that people had they would answer but there were i felt that there were some uh, you know in a three uh, secrets that did not they did not quite reveal and even amongst the participants were 31 of us there were quite a few industry insiders there were already people who are doing you know uh, this incense thing or who are already part of the incense industry they have their own brands they have their own manufacturing units 
some of them have uh, you know manufacturing units where they make incenses for bigger brands so we had all of these kind of people there so uh, there was a whatsapp group created for us and most people did answer quite a few questions regarding these things but there were sometimes you know like some people wanted to know some basic formula of the fragrance that they did not reveal at all they did not even give the basics of it and they said that you know there is a different course for it so you might want to enroll for that course so that is what they promoted most of the time they did not tell us anything about even about the basics of fragrance creation as such so they told us everything that is related to incense uh, you, know, uh, you know applying of incense fragrance to the incense as such but nothing about the even the basic formula of incense perfumery so like when they said incense uh, agarbatti dhupatti havan samagri and perfumery i guess most people did expect some form of at least basic perfumery formula that they were supposed to give of course these formula that they've given uh, that they should have given are there in the booklet but then you know why would we do a course if we could already read something because there is already so much available online on google that you could just you know find any information there so what happened is what some people were very disappointed because they did not get the basics of the formulation of uh, fragrance of incense so that is there and uh, as for me you know i did not uh, feel that i learned anything new here and because uh, these are the things which i think probably because i am so much into it that i have already learned on my own through various sources through various research papers and articles and magazines and books and youtube videos and things on google so if you are at the level where you already know a lot i don't think this course is going to serve you well and definitely if you want to get into the industry i don't think this course is the one if you want to get into the into the industry i think you must go for the offline courses only and do not go for the online ones because these online ones are only they are like you know any other book or any other thing because they, they hardly will teach you anything there so that is that is my take uh, you know away of it so i'll let you know what all they've covered in the booklet that they gave us they it says about the course chapter 1 is about the course then we have introduction then we have cultivation of common aroma bearing crops used in agarbatti and perfumery industry and they give examples of basil lemongrass rose patchouli parma rosa citronella then they have standardization of common raw materials used in agarbatti industry then they have manufacturing of flora agarbatti or oh, by the way flora agarbatti also has uh, you know that rubber oil in it manufacturing of coated agarbatti fragrance introduction fundamentals of creation of different fragrances of agarbatti rose jasmine lily of the valley incorporation of fragrance in agarbatti odor evaluation sheet 1 to 3 rose fragrance creation practical jasmine fragrance creation practical so when you do the offline courses these are the practicals that you would be doing so if you really want to get a hands on experience i would highly highly suggest you go for the offline course only i think there'll be anywhere between 5 to 7 days but it's worth it if you want to get into the industry if you want to get a hands on experience that is where you should be then we have a lily of the valley fragrance creation practical then we have notes glossary or factory study sheet natural or factory study sheet synthetic so there are 17 chapters and it's a 91 page booklet so this is what we get got uh, from the uh, you know from the institute after completing the course they gave us three ppts one is on um, you know the global scenario of agarbatti the other one is on uh, Uh, manufacturing of agarbatti and the third one is on havan samagri and you'll be surprised to know that even havan samagri has fragrance sprayed on to it i mean i was surprised to know because i did not know that so that is there uh, and that's about the course now the thing is what so what i got from the course is a broad perspective of the incense industry how they hand roll the uh, incense how they make the cones which are the things i already knew and then the basics of formula they told us about some basic formula and uh, economics of incense sale was something which was very interesting because they uh, told us you know how to go about 
you know uh, how do you determine the price of an incense so you know how everything is taken care uh, you know taken into account like the raw material the fragrance that goes into it the labor the all the other charges like you know uh, rent for the space and this and that transport and stuff so everything is uh, you know uh, taken into account before pricing an incense so that those are the things that we learned there and uh, they taught us how to make floral incenses you know like how pool and uh, nirmalya and help uh, help us green and all those people who are making floral incenses what goes into it how they make so it's you know in a nutshell it's basically the same thing only the only difference between floral incense and normal incense is that in floral incense one part of the basic wood you know the wood which forms the base of an incense is replaced by the floral powder so that is the only difference otherwise it's all the same thing like i told you earlier also there is hardly anything that add that you know adds an edge to the incense as such so that was about floral incense and uh, so uh, they gave us an in industry formula for the wet dhoop but they did not show us how to make it because of course it needs to be melted and stuff you know there's a whole lot of cooking process that goes behind it so that was there the one thing that you know as an if you want to become a part of the industry and if you want to know about it they did not tell us anything about the various kinds of machinery that is involved in making the incense if you want to make machine made incense how you go about it so that is not something that they told us anything about it's not in the booklet it's not in the lectures it's not in the ppts nowhere they told us nothing about the machinery so that was there so what i think is you know if you just want to give a, if you want to just get some kind of overview of the incense, incense industry then you would get it from this course but if you want to get a, you know if you want to become a part of the industry and if you want to get some hands on experience some practical knowledge then this online course is not for you i did not get much from this online course and you know um, i think i just wasted my time and money here instead i should have waited for the offline course and then went you know i should have gone and done i tried to present you a view of you know what i think of the course of course there are other there were 31 30 other people who did the course and of course they will have different views of their own you know on the on the course i did ask in the group in the whatsapp group if somebody wants to share their review of the course so i could uh, present somebody else's opinion also here but nobody responded i don't know for whatever reason probably they didn't want to uh, you know not everybody is good at articulating their honest opinions about stuff so i think everybody just stayed clear of it they just, just didn't want any controversy i guess because there were 30 other people and you know like it happens in most groups some people would agree and somebody would not agree and then of course i think it would get murky so people stayed away from it but this is the experience you know this is the kind of opinion that i hold of this course and this is just my opinion if you are somebody who has done this course probably you will have a different view of it but as uh, you know the kind of knowledge that i have in of the industry as of now uh, these these are my views of the course and uh, so that's it i hope you enjoyed today's episode and learned something from it if you think somebody else can learn something from it too share it with them let me know your thoughts in the comment section below you might want to check out this course by just typing FFDC on Google and uh, if you want to do the course you will find the links on the FFDC website the training calendar will be there the forms will be there and uh, you'll be have you'll have to pay around 3000 for that for 3 or 4000 depending on when you are enrolling for it and that's all Check out the description for very many incense related products, beautiful ones which you can buy for yourself, for your own home or for gifting purposes. That's all for the episode. Till we meet again next, take very good care of yourself. Namaste.